Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. In today's video, we're looking at everything about the 1935 Buffalo Nickel, what these coins are actually worth, what are they selling for, and what you should be looking for on your Buffalo Nickels that can make them valuable. Don't forget to go check out CouchCollectibles.com. Link is always in the description of every single video. All right, so starting off first, here is a couple examples of an RPM, a D mint mark that has been repunched, a repunched mint mark RPM. So you will find that mint mark on the Buffalo Nickels underneath the word five cents on the back of the coin. So there will be a D or an S or no mint mark at all. Now, if you want to see your coins up close, all you have to do is get you a USB coin microscope from couchcollectibles.com. Like I said, link is always in the description below. So here is that 1935 Buffalo Nickel that has that repunched mint mark. Now keep in mind this coin here is not a mint stated grade or anything. It's graded at an extra fine 40. So it's not in the best condition, but definitely not in the worst condition either. But uh, definitely a circulated coin here. Now this coin here sold for nearly $1,000. And that is because of the RPM, the repunched mint mark. All right, so let's look on the back of the coin here on the 1935 Buffalo Nickel. You wanna look for a double die reverse. So here are a couple examples of that. You can really see it on five cents there at the bottom, that double die reverse taking place. Like I said, get you a USB coin microscope available on couchcollectibles.com. Link is in the description of every single video. Here's that other example of the doubling on the Buffalo nickel. So always be on the lookout for that, the double die reverse 1935. Now first, let's look at this one here. This coin here has got the double die reverse. Buffalo nickel, it's graded at about uncirculated 55, so it's not quite a mint state grade there, but it is still in pretty decent condition. And this coin here sold for over $11,000. Now, if we look at the same exact coin, we go from a grade of AU58 to MS65, meaning mint state 65, with that double die reverse, and the difference in prices is crazy. This coin here sold for over $25,000, and that is because of the grade. So we go from $11,000 to $25,000 just because of the condition of the coin. Here is another double die reverse that sold on eBay. Well, it sold for nearly $15,000. You can see that it actually says sold for, not asking price. So this coin is the double die reverse. It is graded by PCGS at a Men's State 64, and it did sell for nearly $15,000 on eBay. Now, if we look at the very, very expensive coin here, this coin here is the 1935 Buffalo Nickel that has a very high grade of a Men's State 68. So this is the no mint mark. And we can see that there on the back of the coin, you see no mint mark under the word five cents. Also, that F on the front of the coin underneath the date, that is not the mint mark. That is just the designer initial. So always uh, keep that in mind. A lot of people think that's a mint mark for some reason. But this coin here, because of the high grade, sold for over $57,000. That's right, $57,000. Now keep in mind, if you have a Buffalo nickel from 1935, it doesn't have any types of errors, RPMs, double dies, and it's really worn down. It's not gonna sell for that much money. The price really determines on the coin's condition as well as if it has any errors along with it. Now here's the 1935S. This is graded at a Men's State 67, and because of that high grade, this coin here sold for over $5,700. And for the 1935D high grade, graded at a mint state 67, this coin here sold for over $7,000, again, because of that high grade. Does not have any types of errors or anything like that. Don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out all the other videos on my channel. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.